I started off the reading asking about your person and I asked, can you trust your person's energy? You know, perhaps you're feeling like a bit guarded. They may have even hurt you in the past and a third party situation looks to be the reason why. Perhaps they weren't over their ex or they were involving you and they still had some involvement with their ex or there was just another person that you were not aware of. This could be somebody that perhaps said that they were going to get divorced or they said that they were going to separate from a partner, but they never truly 100% severed completely. And, you know, what is their energy? I asked. See, right away, when the fool in reverse popped out for me, this says to me, don't be a fool. In other words, um, they cannot change at their core because at their core, I'm going to tell you about them. This is also another way to further validate. You'll know if this reading is for you. So this person is like impulsive, a hothead kind of. They're a little accident prone, a little clumsy, a little intrusive, a little bit... Um, impulsive. This is somebody kind of thoughtless. They make like really stupid choices sometimes and they kind of have a like just bad outlook in general. Like maybe it's like a poor outlook with money or it's a poor outlook with work or with relationships or whatever it is. But it's like somebody living in a fantasy world that needs a needs a reality check, you know? It's kind of like they need a wake-up call. This is somebody that is a little unstable and it could be because they had an unstable upbringing or just because they have some issues that they are neglecting. This is also somebody who is kind of like always in stress and strife and grief and, you know, kind of like all over the place. And this is definitely a sign of somebody who's not commitment material and a sign of somebody who is a cheater or will cheat. So I feel like if this person has come back, and they're trying to sort of bait you or make you believe that they have changed or that they're different, I feel like you already know that that's not true. You sense it and you feel it, but you know, unfortunately, you still have some tethers to this person. You still have some threads to this person. It's like you need to cut cords because I feel like this is not just once that this person has broken your heart. It may be two times it could be this is like you know a third time but it's like this is like red flags for you and for you to kind of see it and learn your lessons too because look it this person has cords on you and on the other person and it's like this triangulating energy I feel like a little bit it could just be too that this person just like I said had an ex or someone that they're still hung up on or someone that they're still in contact with or somebody that they still see and they also involved you. So it's could be it could be like somebody caught between two people, you know, like your person's caught between two people. And it could be that, you know, that's just what happened in the past and that you're afraid that it's still going on or it didn't end or whatever. And if you're feeling that, it's absolutely yes. And you're meant to stand your ground, okay? Stand your ground. Stand up for yourself, speak your mind, speak your heart. I feel like you might still be carrying a torch for this person a little bit, but you have to look at their actions and their behaviors. This is somebody that refuses to take responsibility and they are focused on all the wrong things. It's also somebody who is very trapped in their own head and their own ways and they are not really like what you need to start a good relationship with they're not really like precautious this person this this is somebody that's like they might even joke like inappropriately you know or like hurtful or like they just don't do anything to change they don't do they don't care they don't do anything to change they're like chaotic they disregard others adv advice it's kind of like somebody disheveled a bit, self-neglectful, and they never really learn their lessons where I feel like you, you know, you know better. Like something is definitely screaming red flags here and you just can't ignore it this time or else you will get hurt again. So I hope that this was helpful. Stay strong. Love and light.